So hello and welcome back to another episode of Permitive Survival. So you've been seeing a little bit of an excerpt of what I've been getting up to basically between episodes. I do want to basically show everything as it can get a little bit boring if you've seen it before as well. But yeah, just to bring you up to date, so we'll go over it and stuff. Uh, I had to make myself some more charcoal because I didn't have any to make my obviously copper. Uh, and the items that we've made are as follows. We have made ourselves a hoe. We made ourselves another pickaxe because we're going to need one. We made ourselves a fox blade, which is going to be really good for battling those bad guys. Uh, we've got ourselves an axe mold, a shovel mold, and some ingot molds. And ingot molds will be one will be used to make some chests, another will be used to make a saw and i'm not too sure with the other two maybe a chisel and something else i'm not too sure probably a prospecting pick will be quite handy yeah a prospecting pick and it'll just leave one left over for maybe a chisel at some point but yeah this is nicely cooling down so this won't take long the time is currently uh six or seven food wise we're doing okay for food i've got three sevens of amaranth porridge which is quite decent uh, saturation we've got two 720 which not quite fills the old green bar up but quite a lot currently up to date we are up to health points of 21.3 vegetables above the halfway might grain is practically full protein is practically full we need some fruit so why am I going to be building this well? Why why am I going to be making myself some ha some nails and strips to make the chests? Because I want to move. Basically, I want to move to an area where I can have a farm. And in this area, it's not good enough. It's too warm, and I can't make a farm. So it's looking like it's going to be all the way down here. Now I don't want it built up with lots of trees. I think it's going to ask him for trouble. So nice open out area. Maybe somewhere around here. Maybe on the coast. Be quite nice on the coast of a little lake. Might be a good idea. At least got some fresh water from a lake. Um. I think I want to go all the way down here. But yeah, probably somewhere around this mark here. We'll have to have check obviously for the temple stability of the area. But that's pretty much what I'm going to do here. I'm going to make myself a chest. I'm going to basically pack up as much as I humanly possibly can take with me. Hopefully I can take everything with me. And I'm not leaving anything behind. Because otherwise it's going to take me two trips. Which doesn't sound like a lot of fun. But uh, yeah. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, so when you, I bring you back, I'll have all the tools made up and I'll basically have a chest and hopefully everything packed away so we can set off on our jolly travels. Okay, I shall see you soon. So I've packed up pretty much everything. I basically got a few items need to pick up there, them and them. Got all my tools on me. I've got myself a actual chest. And that is full up with all of our molds uh, and a few bits and bats. So we've got these as well. So it's going to be two trips, unfortunately. But I've got a fox blur, which is, I'm quite happy with. My inventory is full. Um, obviously, it doesn't really matter whether it dies. It's basically permadeath. So we are going southwards. Okay. Southwards, off we go. Gotta hope this goes well. Okay, let's go. So we've got uh, a ball, so we've got some food, we've got plenty, plenty to last us for at least um, a day or two before we need to basically start to look for food again. Um, obviously we want to basically make sure that we were in an area that is going to get rain, that is going to be not too wet, but also not too dry and not, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's the that's the second time it's crashed. Okay, let me see if I can log back on. Okay. So yeah, this is the reason why the devs say basically don't play the pre-releases pre because of this very issue. Basically, you have crashes, you can have world corruption and stuff. But you know, uh, we do it so you don't have to. But it's fun, I, and I don't mind. I am prepared to basically you know take the crashes and stuff, and sometimes we may lose the world and stuff, and I'm all right with that. As long as I'm all right with it, it's, it's my world at the end of the day. That's the main thing. But yeah, uh, just be wise. If you are playing in the actual snapshots and stuff, well, we call it snapshots. If you are playing in the early versions of a new 
a new download 1.20 in this case and stuff be be prepared for some crashes and don't complain about it I'm mean, funny they do warn us with the do warn us a lot actually about it so yeah uh, right so we're going to keep on going um i want to basically try to make it to an actual cooler area and we're still not in a cooler area i'm just going to keep on <gasps> wow i was close <laughs> I didn't even know how else. Yeah, I'll, I want to get through this area, but oh, I, I, I don't want to go through the middle of it. To be brutally honest, I don't want to go through them. This is a, this is an oak area, which if anyone knows me, if anyone knows the channel, everyone knows basically it's one of my favourite woods. I know, super boring, isn't it? But it, I think it looks the prettiest, to be honest. Um, so yeah, right. Let's see if we can get through here without any issues. Right, what's that? It's a piggy wig. Does have he, does he have any babies with him then? No, he doesn't. Right, I think quick dash. Yeah, quick dash. There we go. I can hear some bees, which is good. So you know, for for basically to start off with, the temperature is going to be cooler now because we have bees. Wow, it's a good job basically I wasn't walking through there, was it? Right. Um uh, let's go, let's just go up for a second. So just so I can get my bearings. So the pond's there. Right, let's gonna go through here. Obviously, there's no real point basically swimming to escape from wolves nowadays because they can swim faster than us. But you know. You know, it's hard to get out of, out of habits and stuff. Right, let's go through here. Um, we'll keep on going. I'm going to make a dash up there. There we go. Like I said, I've got food on me, so I'm not overly worried about all my hunger going downwards. I just want to get to get to a safer location, which is not here. Um, I don't, I don't, that's why I say location surrounded by trees. And um, we'll keep going up. Um, yep, 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 nearly. Um, we're going this way. And over here, I think I'm going to go upwards. So our gear isn't moving, which is a nice start, because it means it's a nice, a stable location. And poorly stable. Oh, now that's what I was looking at on the map and stuff. And it looks quite pretty as well. Hmm, I think. Let me just check the temperature. Temperature is 31 degrees. Nice, nice, very nice. I think down here. I was, th I was tempted to do it up here on the actual mound. But uh, I think, I think... I think down there would be quite nice, overlooking... Hmm, what do I? <laughs> Too sure now. Yeah, because that's super nice and green grass over there as well. So I think that's a nice location. we got some water around us. I can fill in one of the ponds there. Yeah, yeah. So that's where I'm going to settle down. Okay, right. Let me make the other run to pick up the rest of my stuff. And I will meet you back here. Okay. Oh guys, that was painfully slow, as you could see, but we made it back okay, and very, very quiet hour, to be honest, I was a bit surprised, I was expected to be, you know, jumped by wolves or something like that, but no, really, really quiet on the actual trip back, very, very slow, but really, really quiet, so I pretty much got everything, I picked up, I think, yeah, pretty much everything that I needed to pick up, let's uh, pop down the chest as well, and we'll put you down there. There you go. Uh, and I should be able to put down another one. There we go. We'll put down these as well. So, there are quite a few chests going on. Maybe one over here as well. Oh, no, no. One is straight. <laughs> right, there we go. We can do you. Right, so we got some reed chests for which we can keep all the bits and pieces inside it. And obviously, we've got our main chests, which we can keep the resources that we really need oh forgot about the other chest as well uh, <laughs> i made four didn't 
Uh, that can go... Oh, I don't know. Um, on my back. There we go. Can you go any back? Can you let me go any back? No? No? There we go. So it's been around about a day and a half since the last clip. And I've done a few little chores around the place. Nothing major. I killed a pig. I've chopped down a couple of oak trees. Some of the big ones. You can't even tell, can you? Uh, and I thought, we've got plenty of time left in this episode. How about I put together a little bit of a log cabin? Sounds like fun, doesn't it? So I want to basically use the new blocks, basically. So I've, I've crafted some already. So these are the, the, the oak quarter logs, which look really, really nifty. And I also need the other ones as well. So I think it's, is it that and an axe? Is it that way? It might be the other way. Oh, that way. Yeah. Uh, 15, I don't know. <laughs> we'll start with this to start off with, and then we'll see where we'll go from there. I need to check the temperature again as well. 31, 6 o'clock in the morning. It's mid-June. I think we're okay around here. So I'm thinking there. I think that's a good place, to be honest. As good a place as any. Let's see if we can find another piece of flint. Oh, we've got lead. Oh, lovely. Oh, yeah, another piece of flint. Now, obviously, this is not going to be a massive uh, log cabin. It's going to be within reason um, because obviously I'm not, I, I don't have an abundance amount of resources. Um, but I'll show you just a general idea of what what I'm thinking of. And then I, um, I'll do the, the rest of it I don't know, maybe as part of a time lapse. Maybe some music. Sounds fun. Yeah, why not, eh? Right, so I'm thinking four tall. So four blocks tall. So we I want the I want a back door and I want a front door. Uh yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that is lovely, isn't it? Right, so we do that. Two, three, and four. Two, three, and four. And I don't know, maybe we could have a back door here, and then we could have a bridge across there. That sounds like a good idea. And we do you, and then we do you. Oh, no, 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 no. I need an uh, axe. There we go. So I want to have it face basically outwards. So you and then no <laughs> block placement. Yeah. And then you. Okay. Bring you down. And I thought this was a really expensive recipe, but actually it's not. It's not it's not an expensive recipe at all. It's actually relatively cheap. So we want window, block, another window, and then we can do the final block there. Yep, that's all right. And then we'll move it. So we're going to have to move this down at least one. There we go. So we'll do back door there. And then we'll join you up. Does that work? That's fine that way, that way, and that way. Yep. And we'll do you coming out. So you are that. Nope, 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 nope. I'll try facing it this way. So you're connected, and that's the way I wanted it. Yep. Good stuff. And I suppose I could, I suppose I could have a little bit of a tiny bit of an error going through here. See, why not? Say so we go, I don't know, we'll just go out a couple. There we go. A bit of a wider section here as well. Okay. And we'll have you. It should be fine. Yep, that's fine. And then we'll basically have a you there. Yep. And we'll have you pointed into there. 
and have you coming across. There we go. We'll break you up. So I need a few more of these corner ones, the quarter ones. So we'll do them. I don't think we need all of them, but we'll, um, what should we say, 15? Yeah, we'll do 15. 15 seems an okay number. Face that way. So one, two. Uh, so what's that? That's three. And that's four. Yeah, I want this a little bit, a little bit, a little bit lower, actually. Maybe a good idea. So one, two, three. Yeah, that's right. And then we'll do you as well. Oh, that needs to be lower, doesn't it? Yes, bad one. So get rid of you. There we go. Uh, you're going to have to be a normal plank. There we go. So I'm thinking something like this as a general um, start of a log cabin. What do you think? Let's have a look from over here. Yeah, I think that look could look good. That, I think that could look okay. Bit of a different shape. It's not perfectly square and stuff. Usable area there, usable area there. We've still got plenty of ground to build up on. Yeah. Well, okay. I'm going to finish this off. The forms of the tab lapse. Why not? I shall speak to you soon. So there we have it, babes. That's one cabin in the wood. Doesn't it look nice? I'm loving the new blocks. I really am. I think it looks smashing. Um, I've still got an absolute ton of oak left. The beauty of large oak trees. They don't have to give you a lot of wood. So yeah, nice and simple. It's literally all oak. I know there's a lot of abundance of oak there. Uh, but I like it. I think it looks very quaint. Um, I can see this being emulated quite a lot for a lot of early game, you know. This is just using a wood axe, pretty much. Um, apart from the actual, you know, planks and stuff, I suppose you need a saw for the actual. Uh, but you, didn't have to, you don't have to use this roof. You could basically use hair bales, you know. 
as some sort of roof, some hair roofing and stuff. So you don't have to use Ork. I have, but I'm really, really happy with how it's finished and stuff. And there we go. We have a nice little safe and secure area. I'll show you inside as well. I've moved everything in. So, yes, it's a bit snug and stuff, but I'm happy. We've got a bed, we've got some chests. We can use this as a wall of chests if we need to. And uh, yeah, I've got everything we need. Got to basically our little tool station here. Yeah. But to be brutally honest, I think what is needed uh, is a farm and that's what we're going to be doing in the next episode because i am out of food as well so i'm going to have to do a little bit of hunting uh for some food to start off with um but yeah i think in um i think in the next episode i think we're gonna we're gonna make ourselves a farm i think that's gonna be a, an intelligent thing to do i've got a bucket now so i can move water around and we're gonna start to start getting some leather making as well and uh, yeah, uh, movement forward, as they say. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. As always, I've enjoyed doing the build. I've really enjoyed it. I think it's been a, I think it's a pretty build, a very, very pretty build. And I will see you in the next one. Alrighty, guys. Bye bye for now. Bye.